The term metaverse is fast becoming a buzzword in tech and business. To focus on the metaverse. South Korean millennials and Gen Z are also gathering in virtual alternative worlds. But do you know what it means? Here's Reuters Elizabeth Halcroft. So the word metaverse is quite a broad term. Uh, this could be through the use of virtual reality, so wearing a VR headset. But people also use the term metaverse to refer to virtual environments where you have an avatar. Walk around and interact with other people's avatars, like in a video game. Your different monitors. CEO Mark Zuckerberg said in July that Facebook will transition from being a social media company to a metaverse company. We shouldn't really have to have to physically be together to, to feel present or collaborate or brainstorm. Fans of the metaverse see it as the next stage in the development of the internet. They've already invested heavily in developing virtual and augmented reality headsets and glasses and will reportedly create 10,000 jobs in the European Union to bring their metaverse plans to life. Other investors and companies are getting excited about being a part of the next big thing. And Facebook is certainly not alone. The term metaverse is popular in Silicon Valley, with Microsoft also talking about converging the digital and physical world. So the global health crisis, over the past 18 months, more people have been working from home and going to school remotely, spending a lot more time online and missing out on human interaction. But now some people think there's more demand for online spaces where people's interactions can be more multidimensional and lifelike, allowing people to immerse themselves in digital content rather than simply viewing it. At the moment, we connect with people who aren't physically near us by going to websites such as social media platforms or using messaging apps and video calls. There is also a specific type of metaverse which uses blockchain technology, the same technology that's behind Bitcoin. There, users can buy digital assets such as clothes and even land using cryptocurrencies. One of such blockchain-based virtual worlds is Decentraland. Fashion companies are noticing the trend, experimenting with making virtual clothing, which people's avatars can wear in metaverse environments. While the metaverse offers a new space for people to socialize, trade, game, and even attend music concerts, right now, it's still no comparison to the real world. I have seen science fiction films that are set in fully fledged metaverses or alternate digital worlds that are almost indistinguishable from real physical life. But there's still the stuff of fiction. At the moment, most virtual spaces I've seen look more like the inside of video games than real life.